Vernal Collins, also known as Teacher Collins, Brother C and Papa, of Mount Plaisir, who resided at Upper Deperdin Street, Grove, St. John, a retired teacher at the St. John's RC School, passed away on Saturday, November 12, 2022, at the age of 83. He was the husband of Vernus Collins, father of Ella Abraham and Michelle Antrobus in the USA, and Dean Noel, stepfather of Jennifer Oxley, Sharon Ned, Patricia Louison, Karen and Royston Charles, grandfather of 33 including Carla Sylvester, Elizabeth and Ethan Abraham, Dionysia and Denisia Noel, Shanika, Frances and Dr. Petra Charles, Shaquille Mathlin and Daniel Hannibal. Uncle of many including Angela, Rita, Patricia, Judith, Robert, Val, Cecil and Malcolm. Father-in-law of Errol Abraham. Brother-in-law of Isla Smart, Dolores Modest, Judy Lewis, Werner and Avis Francis. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends including the Collins and Mitchell families of Mount Plaisir, Grand Roy and Marigot, the Charles and Francis families of Wolf, the Fleming and Bernadine families of Mount Nesbitt, Jane Thomas, Catherine Gray, Clemens Mitchell, Cynthia Elias, Dr. Alban Philip, Nurse Kathleen, members of the St. Peter's Roman Catholic Church, the boys on the block, and friends and neighbors of Mount Plaisir, Grove, and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Vernal Collins, also known as Teacher Collins, Brother C. and Papa, of Mount Plaisir, who resided at Upper Deputy Street, Grove, St. John, will take place on Thursday, December 22nd at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Peter's Roman Catholic Church, Grove, and interment will be at the Douglaston Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Rosanna Latouche, also known as Miss Rosie, of La Femme St. David, passed away on Thursday, December 1st, 2022, at the age of 97. She was the mother of Raphael Evans, also known as Selwyn, Michael Samuel, also known as Uncle Mikey, Dr. Anselm Latouche, also known as Glenn, Lawrence, Esther, and Albert Latouche, grandmother of 55, great-grandmother of 13, mother-in-law of Jacinta Evans, Claudia Samuel, Maria Latouche, and Denise Latouche, aunt of Gregory de Gans, Jean Brazan, Maureen, Lydia, Helen, and Oris Lewis, caregiver Rachel John, many cousins, other relatives and close friends, including Nelsia and John Evans, Joan James, Kelvin Dominic, Yoland Bowen Curtin, the Latouche family, the pastors and members of the Mennonite and Gospel Hall Church, doctors and nurses of the Pedmotar Medical Center, and friends and neighbors of La Femme and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Rosanna Latouche, also known as Miss Rosie of La Femme St. David, will take place on Thursday, December 22nd at 11 a.m. Funeral service will be held at the Garden of Remembrance Funeral Chapel, according to Grand Ons Baptist Rites, followed by private cremation. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Percival Kenneth Alexander, also known as Palo and Uncle Percy of Snellhall St. Patrick, passed away on Sunday, November 20th, 2022, at the age of 92. He was the father of Valerie Caliste, Patsy Forrester, Phyllis Durham, Carol Batiste, and Gillian Alexander. Grandfather of 19, including Bernard Jr., Brian, Brandon, Brianna Forrester, Keisha Caliste, Carla Caliste, Shane Durham, Siobhan Sowell, and Saira. Great-grandfather of 16. Grandfather-in-law of Kadisha and Keisha Forrester. In-laws Carol, Margaret, Rhonda, Merrill, Sharon, Noble, the Forrester family, and Ashley Talisford. Uncle of many, including Cuthbert Houston, Euland Purcell, Joyce, Davis Houston, Anne, and Violet. Nephew of Big and Little of Willis. Caregivers Norma, Donna, Clarina McLeish, Narissa Chedick, Angela Prince, B.J. Forrester, Carol Sargent, and Chantel. Many other relatives and close friends, including the Alexander, Best, McLeish, Houston, Philip, Telesford, Swan and Sergeant families, Smallpin, Carlton Alexander, Tillman Thomas, members of the Snell Hall Seventh-day Adventist Church, 
and friends and neighbors of Snell Hall and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Percival Kenneth Alexander, also known as Palo and Uncle Percy of Snell Hall St. Patrick, will take place on Thursday, December 22nd at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Snell Hall Seventh-day Adventist Church and interment will be at the Marley Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Fiona Lewis Francis Worm, also known as Fee of St. Jewel Street, St. George's, and Grand Ball St. George, who formerly resided at River Road St. George, a well-known waitress and supervisor of La Source, Sandals, and many other hotels, passed away on Thursday, December 1st, 2022, at the age of 54. She was the wife of Samuel Worm, mother of Kanaika and Anaika Francis, sister of Inspector Ethron Francis, Kenroy Cox and Francis Johannes in Grenada, Kieran Francis, Vicus Charles, Jemut and Fitzroy Cox, all in the USA, Wayne and Carlton Cox residing in Cariacou, Janika and Janalia Lamontagne residing in St. Lucia, grandmother of Shadon Francis, niece of many including Lawrence Francis and Claudia Redhead residing in the USA, sister-in-law of Marilyn Francis, Cheryl Rouget, Gaynell Holder, Brian Worm, Stevenson Worm, William Worm and Jeffrey Worm and the rest of the Worm family, cousin of many including Anne, Audrey, Jacqueline and Tira Fortune residing in the USA. Other relatives and friends including the Ferguson and Rayburn families of Sans Souci, the pastor and members of the Evangelical Center Church, the management and staff of Foodies Market Hill, and friends and neighbors of St. Jewel Street, Grand Mall and River Road, St. George. The funeral of the late Fiona Lewis Francis Worm, also known as Fee, of St. Jewel Street, St. George's, and Grand Mall, St. George, who formerly resided at River Road, St. George, will take place on Thursday, December 29th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Evangelistic Center Market Hill, St. George, and interment will be at the Wilberforce Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Perry Henry of Grenville St. Andrew, who resided at Labry St. George, passed away on Monday, December 19, 2022, at the age of 63. The funeral arrangements for the late Perry Henry of Grenville St. Andrew, who resided at Labry St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Sarah Sandy, also known as Dufraid of Concord St. John, passed away on Saturday, 17th December 2022, at the age of 91. The funeral arrangements for the late Sarah Sandy, also known as Dufraid of Concord St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Joan Teresa Joseph, also known as Mommy Joan or Mother, of Shantimel St. Patrick, who resided at Middle River Guave Estate St. John, passed away on Friday 16th December 2022, at the age of 71. The funeral arrangements for the late Joan Teresa Joseph, also known as Mommy Joan or Mother, of Shantimel St. Patrick, who resided at Middle River Guave Estate St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Jean Thomas, also known as Gigi of Birchgrove, who resided at Paradise St. Andrew, passed away on Friday 16th December 2022 at the age of 74. The funeral arrangements for the late Jean Thomas, also known as Gigi of Birchgrove, who resided at Paradise St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Keith Fletcher Barry, also known as KB, Strong and 13, of Duquesne St. Mark, who resided at Lassages St. David, passed away on Monday, December 12, 2022, at the age of 65. The funeral arrangements for the late Keith Fletcher Barry, also known as KB, Strong and 13, of Duquesne St. Mark, who resided at Lassages St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Lloyd Scott, also known as Lacroix, and Turner Mar, of Grand Roy St. John, 
passed away on Wednesday, December 14, 2022, at the age of 65. The funeral arrangements for the late Lloyd Scott, also known as Lacroix, and Turner Ma of Grand Roy St. John will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacroix Brothers Funeral Home. Millicent Harris, also known as Miss Millie, of Grand Mall St. George, passed away on Friday, December 16, 2022, at the age of 97. The funeral arrangements for the late Millicent Harris, also known as Miss Millie of Grand Mall St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Evans James, also known as Redman, Pepper and Uncle Evans of Clogy St. John, passed away on Tuesday, December 13, 2022, at the age of 63. The funeral arrangements for the late Evans James, also known as Redman, Pepper and Uncle Evans of Clogy St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Anthony Stephen Joseph, also known as Zicky and Bull, of Florida St. John, passed away on Monday, 12th December 2022, at the age of 61. The funeral of the late Anthony Stephen Joseph of Florida St. John will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Theresa Sita Allett, also known as Tokes of Marigot St. John, passed away on Tuesday, 13 December 2022, at the age of 81. The funeral arrangements of the late Theresa Sita Allett will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thank you for watching. I am Godwill James, an MD and a member of Get Your Assembly. Medically, that is regarded as an end or a cessation of life. Different, um, different groups view death in different perspectives, while some regard death as a continuation of life, others view it as an infable form of life. As a Christian, we may want to view death as a separation of the soul from the body. So, whichever way one may view, one may view death, I want to say that may the gentle soul of the faithful departed rest in the bosom of the Lord. Amen. I am Godwill James, an MD and a member of Gateway Assembly. Medically, that is regarded as an end or a cessation of life. Various groups have different perspectives about, about death. While some view death as an infeeble form of life, Others also regard it as a continuation of life. As a Christian, death is largely regarded as a separation of the soul from the body. So, whichever way one may want to view death, I want to say that may the gentle soul of the departed rest in peace in the bosom of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> 